In this video, I'll be showing you how to solve a system of linear equations with three variables using your MATLAB. MATLAB can be a very good tool and a very fast one in solving system of linear equations and it is very simple. The process is very, very simple. Now to solve this kind of equation with the MATLAB, let me bring this here so you can see very well. So to solve your equation using MATLAB, we are going to form two matrices out of the equations. So the first matrix we'll be forming will be a matrix of the coefficient of the variables. Like in this equation, we have the variable x, y, and z. So we are going to form a matrix of all the coefficients and we assign that matrix to an alphabet. The second matrix we'll be forming will be the matrix of the constant. Uh, we have 10, 6, and 36. So we'll be forming another matrix from this constant. And we also assign that matrix to another alphabet. So without wasting much time, let's get the work done. The first matrix we'll be forming will be a matrix of the coefficient of the variables. And we are going to assign the matrix to an alphabet. So let's use alphabet A for our first matrix. So we are going to write A to be equal to. To write your matrix in MATLAB, you use your square brackets. So we have the square brackets. In the first line, we have 2, negative 3, and 3. In the second line, we have 5, 2, and negative 2. While in the third line, we have negative 3, 4, and 6. So in our first line, we have, we have 2, negative 3, and 3. In writing your matrix in MATLAB to move to the next line, you use the semicolon. So in the second line, we have 5, 2, and negative 2. Now we are moving to the third line, so we also use our semicolon. So we have negative 3, 4, and 6. So we close our matrix using the square brackets. So the second matrix we form will be the matrix of the constant on the other side of the equation. And we are going to assign that to another alphabet, let's say alphabet B. So we are going to have B to be equal to, we open our matrix using our square brackets. We have 10 in the first line. We use semicolon to move to the next line. We have 6 in the second line, just as we have here. And we also use semicolon to move to the next line. And we have 36. So we close our square brackets and we press enter. Now we have 10, 6, and 36, just like we have it here. And this is where the work comes in. It's very simple. Now to simply solve equation using MATLAB. There are three ways with which you can use your MATLAB to solve this. The first way is to use your lean solve function of MATLAB. Lean solve. Lean solve goes by L-I-N-S-O-L-V-E. So it is a linear solver function of MATLAB. We have lean solve. Then you open your brackets. The first variable which is A. A comma and a B. MATLAB is case sensitive. If you are using lowercase, make sure you use lowercase. And if you are using uppercase, make sure you use uppercase. Now, lean soft. We have lean soft A comma B. So when you write that command, press your enter. So the answer for our equation is 2, 3, and 5. And it is in the order of x, y, and z, just as we have them here. So here that means x is 2, y is 3. And Z is 5. Apart from lean solve, another way of using MATLAB to solve a linear equation is multiplying the inverse of matrix A with B. We want to multiply the inverse of matrix A with B. And to write that, you use the inverse, inverse keyword, the inverse of A, then multiply by B. The multiplication you can use your asterisk for the multiplication symbol. So as you can also see, we have x to be 2, we have y to be 3, and we have z to be 5. Another way of writing the inverse of a multiplied by b is writing a raised to the power of negative 1. So multiply by b and press your enter. So you also have x to be 2, we have y to be 3, and we have z to be 5. It's very easy to solve your equation using MATLAB. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. You can also give your reaction in the comment section below. 
I will see you in the next video.